Take our lead. Let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Around five minutes. What is an evaporation line on the test? Every kit has a specified amount of time within which it displays the result. This time is usually somewhere around five minutes. If the stick is left around longer than that, what happens is that a faint line appears on the area where the result is displayed. Take our lead. Many people believe that, compared to their blue counterparts, pink dye tests are less prone to getting an evaporation line. Most pink dye tests have a HCG threshold of 25 mu per milliliter, meaning that when it detects at least that amount of HCG in your urine, it will produce a positive result. Take our lead. The reason for this is due to the urine evaporating if left for too long, it can leave a faint line which can be mistaken as a positive test. It is recommended to not rate a pregnancy test after the recommended time frame, 10 minutes, as most brands have a possibility of evaporation lines. Take our lead. Some women get a negative test and then later test positive for pregnancy. If this happens, believe the positive test. That's because HCG levels take a while to rise, and the positive test may be because they're finally high enough for a test to register. Take our lead. Let's help you make your mark. It suggests waiting until the test has completely dried, then putting a few drops of water on the absorbent spot. As the water moves across the test, it will wash away an EVAP line. The control line, as well as a true positive test line, will not wash away. Take our lead. Let's help you make your mark. As we're looking for a pink tinge, the clever trick is as follows. Invert the photo, turn it negative, which means that anything with pink-red coloring will show up as green. A pale gray evap line will only ever show up as gray, whereas a pale pink positive line will show up as pale green. Take our lead. Evaporation lines appear as a result of the composition of the particular urine specimen, and they may appear on any test regardless of brand. Evaporation lines can confound results if tests are not interpreted within the clinically recommended time frame. Take our lead. Pee on a stick or into the cup if you're peeing into a cup, grab your cup and go. If you're peeing on a stick, remember to take the cap off the test, if it has one. If you peed into a cup, and you're ready to dip the strip in, take note of how long you should do this for. Take our lead. Why you might get false positive follow-up blood tests will be able to tell whether your hormone levels are dropping or rising. Sometimes an evaporation line can appear on a test as urine dries in the test window, and some women may confuse it for a very faint second line. Take our lead. Digital tests are the ones that read, pregnant, or, not pregnant, and the non-digital ones usually have lines that you must interpret. Even a faint line might still denote a positive result. So, digital tests take the guesswork out of analyzing a pregnancy test, but they are not necessarily more accurate.
Make your mark, take our lead. Getting a false negative pregnancy test because of the hook effect is rare. False negative test results can happen for many reasons. One older study that tested 27 different kinds of at-home pregnancy tests found that they gave false negatives almost 48% of the time. Make your mark, take our lead! HCG is normally only present in your body if you are pregnant. Any positive line, no matter how faint, means your result is pregnant. Levels of HCG in your body will increase over the course of your pregnancy. If you test early, your HCG levels may be still below and you'll see a faint positive line. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.